is really cool thing happen. Really, really cool thing. If you know, if you watch the show at all, you know I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Uh, probably one of my favorite game series of all time. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go with it. The best game series of all time. They have their hits. They have their misses. Mostly hits in my book. But they released 40 minutes of gameplay footage from Final Ooh. Fantasy 15. They pretty much showed you what the demo is gonna be if you pre-order Type Zero. Uh, so let's get right into it. First of all. It is probably the most gorgeous looking game I have ever seen in my life. Ever. Ever. I mean, it's. Wow. Well, I mean, you'd amazing. hope that they get better and better, right? Yeah, well, they should, but it is just amazing looking. I mean, it. Oh, this man. Could be, this is going to be next gen exclusive or what? Do we yeah, it's going to be next gen exclusive. And they have been working on it for about five years, so it better look good. <laughs> you know, that's that's one thing. I mean, the the graphics, the way you're walking through the wilderness, it is going to be a semi-open world, it looks like, because he's running through the wilderness, and there's these giant, like, dinosaur creatures ro- walking around, and you don't have to fight those guys, but then all of a sudden this, like, pack of wolves come out, and they get into fighting, which then takes me into the combat. That looks pretty damn cool. Uh, it's going to be you and a group of, I think it's three other people, and that'll probably change. and probably get a different cast of characters here and there, or who knows, they might keep the same ones. Um, but it looks like almost a cross between Final Fantasy XII, where you're walking around, you don't stop and get into a battle, you just kind of free flow into the battle, and Tales of the Tales of games, like Tales of Vesperia, Tales of uh, Zillia, Zillia all, those, and all those games like that, where you're running around and you're actively doing combos and stuff. Easy enough combos, not super crazy hard combos or anything like that. But you're doing a lot of stuff, and it's very action-oriented, um, fast-paced game, but I did notice there was a couple times I hit pause, and you can kind of give orders to other people, like use your magic, do this, do that, and it just looks really cool. It's uh, not a the Mana series, actually. Kind of a little I, bit there, too. A little mixed in there, too. Well, I mean, uh, there's a lot. Whenever you have that kind of setup, you have to be able to command the other characters mm-hmm. in your party, Somehow. so it's whatever. But there was also a really cool free-flow fighting technique, it looked like, and I... I don't have an exact count, but I counted at least four, maybe five different weapons that happen. So he's running around, he doesn't have any weapon in his hand, but when he starts doing his combo, you know, it comes in, and he has different ones. To, like, I saw two or three different swords, one giant, like, spear-looking thing, and, like, an axe. So the different combos with each one of the different weapons looks really cool. It's going to be it's gonna be really awesome. Um, there was, looked like there was some dodging. You know, you can dodge to the left, you have your... your Combo, combo, duck and roll, dodging and everything like that. So that was really awesome. Um, it, it is going to be, you know, real time almost. Not real, real time, but it's going to have its own clock in the game because they did show it transitioned from day to night at one point. Uh, so hmm. you're running around this open world and you'll probably get different, you yeah, had different so, enemies. At so night. it sounds at least like the, the big takeaway to me is it's not going to be a hallway like 13. Oh, thank God, because 13 sucked because of that. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to open it or up. Just, there's been a lot of things. Like, they've been on that trend of making things so much restricted so that I'm just really just watching a movie for a while. Like, yeah. 10 was starting that trend, really. Yeah, it was. But I, I still enjoyed 10. But you're yeah. right, it was. No, 12 opened it way back up. Yeah, why didn't they, I guess 12 didn't make as big a hit as, as 10 did why. for whatever reason. But, was but yeah, in the 13, know. they went back. I don't know. It was... Bad, and the you know, I heard that they wanted to Skyrim. appeal to Americans more <laughs> with thirteen. It's like, why yeah, would you even need work, to? Guys. They, that I mean, Final work. Fantasy has always been more popular in in the West than it was in um in Japan anyway. Hmm. So yeah. you already made a hit, like you you you're selling well. Why why do you need to appeal to us more? Like you think yeah. that we're your audience? We we liked what you were doing before, guys. Just go. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> But and then the last thing um, was during the nighttime when it did switch over to night. They had this huge battle happen. A drop ship kind of appeared and dropped off enemy soldiers. Which I believe the basic story behind this game is going to be: there's two warring empires. You're the heir to one of these empires, and you're traveling across country. And I bet the other empire is trying to catch up to you and get and get you. That is a very like basic brief synopsis from what I've seen so far, but. It seems like the other country does catch up to you at certain points and drop like 50 dudes on top of you. And it was just a crazy big battle, battle melee with your three guys running around doing all their combos and you're the main character. Just Some of these combos look really, really cool. So I am super excited to play this game. 
it has been a long time in the making because this was originally going to be called Final Fantasy XIII Versus. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know why they put any more money into XIII two and Lightning Returns. Those didn't seem like they did anything for anybody. I couldn't even finish thirteen because it was that boring. Well, it wasn't that boring. I got to the end. I was looking at the final boss. I was like, let me go back and do some side quests. Got so lost in the world and couldn't make it back that I was just like, I don't want to play this game. I'm done. Yeah, I understand that, actually. That's how it's me in a bunch, even in good games sometimes, but I'm yeah. usually not that lost. Yeah. It was, it was I finally beat Ruby and Emerald Whip in Final Fantasy Seven, guys. Awesome. After, yeah. what, 15, 20 years? <laughs> yeah, but, but that's the thing about most of these Final Fantasy games. You can go back and play them. Yeah. And they still hold up. Who cares if the graphics don't look as good? The game holds up. Uh, but uh, 13 won't hold up. 12, I'd love to jump back into that one, but they haven't remastered that or anything. They probably won't because a lot of people pan that one. I don't understand. But uh, we'll see. Let us know what you think. Are you excited for Final Fantasy 15? Do you like this open world type of combat system? Or would you rather go back to the traditional battle, you know, random battles. ATV meters. One line person lines up here, one person lines up there, fight. You know, eh. hit us up, let us know. Comment down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.